Hi, I'm Sean Moore with Cementex, Senior Customer Service Technician, and today we're going to talk about replacing the water recording meter on a C60. To remove the water recording meter assembly, you're going to want to remove the entire water pipe assembly from the unit. You will need to remove the rear hose, the water hose supply line, and the front hose from the assembly. After that, you can remove the four U-bolts from the truck and take the water pipe to a table to work on it. Okay, now that we have the water pipe in on a table where we can work on it, what we want to do is we want to remove the rear pipe from the assembly, which will allow us to remove the meter from the front pipe assembly. So what we're looking at in the, on the interior of the flow meter is to see if the rings that hold the impeller are still in place or if they're starting to separate. And if they're separating, they will slide out towards the threads and what happens is the axis that the impeller rides on will fall out and the impeller is not fully supported and does not turn the way it should be. So you can take small screwdriver and reach in and support the impeller and push the ring back into place. And at that point, you want to take uh, some super glue and put a little drop of super glue on the ring in the housing to keep the ring in place. If everything is intact and the water meter is not recording properly, take a small screwdriver and see if the impeller is turning freely. And if the impeller is turning freely, then we know that the mechanical portion of the valve is working properly and the electronic version needs to be replaced. If the impeller is stuck and not turning, then we need to replace the mechanical portion of the recording meter. Once you've determined which portion of the recording meter is faulty, remove the four screws from the electronic side of the meter. and now the meter is disassembled. When reassembling the recording meter to the water pipe assembly, make sure that you install the mechanical portion of the recording meter in the proper direction. There is a directional arrow on the top of one of the outlets, and you wanna make sure that you always have that pointed towards the rear of the unit. Put fresh Teflon tape on your fittings. Screw the housing on until it's tight. Do not over tighten the fittings into the housings. This will damage the rec recording meter housing and the uh, recording meter will fail prematurely. Once you have the mechanical portion of the recording meter installed on the pipes, you can install the electronic head. Now the water pipe assembly is ready to be reinstalled on the unit. I'm Sean Moore. This is how you replace the water recording meter on a C60.